Here we go. Hello? Hello? Hello there. Is something... Is, is Can I hear myself? With crappy accent? Hey, Starnay. Welcome to the stream, man. We're still getting set up. Uh, give me a couple minutes. Yeah, we should we be ready to go. Hello? Hello? You hear my shitty accent Hello? now, so that's good. And uh, what about on the Twitch side? So that's good. Yeah, I can hear. And uh, what about on the Twitch side? I can hear the voice. Yeah, I can hear. And, uh, what, what about the follow New Vegas? I can hear the voice. What about the follow New Vegas? I can hear the follow New Vegas. Oh yeah. Great. All right, peeps. Now I just need to spread the good word. That's good, Mr. Star Knight. Thank you, sir. How are you doing, by the way? Are you ready for some lonesome road action? Live at Twitch. Uh, Twitch TV. Rectal Initial. That should be good. Bam. Ba -ba Bam. We got it, boys. Let's go. It's time to be lonely on a lonely road. Is that in the attic? <laughs> Is that an Anne Frank reference? If so, well played. Pretty good, you. I'm doing pretty good. I'm ready to uh, get the rest of this mod added away. It's pretty been a pretty wild mod so far. We've been uh, fighting some pretty tough enemies. I gotta say, man, I feel really flummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a weird looking symbol. I wonder. I don't have a melee weapon. Nothing. Oh! The marked men! They're coming after me. Let's use the, uh, where is it here? The laser detonator. Nuke it up! Nuke it up! Nuke it up! We're gonna have some, ourselves some fried marked men. Oh boy. Does I ever smell tasty? Radiated flesh is a delicacy. Are we entering combat or not? Like. <laughs> you played that tune three times already. I think they're dead. Do you guys think they're dead? I think they're dead. Apparently I have rad poisoning. How is that a thing? Where did I get this rad poisoning from? Yeah, I have rad poisoning. Okay. Minor rad poisoning. I got stim pack sickness. Nice, nice. Let's just stack all the illnesses up. You know, just make it so I'm a ghoul in no time. Good thing I have rat away. I'm a clever little bugger. Although I'd prefer being a rat roach because they're immune to radi radiation. To a certain point. any creature could survive a nuclear apocalypse, it would definitely be... Man, why am I thinking of rad roach? It's, um... Cockroach. It would be a cockroach. Drew a blank on that one. Let's use a little nibble. By the way, I still love your followed 76 video. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the support, Star Knight. My favorite part's the ending. I like, uh, 
<laughs> Eating mustard as a hot dog. That is pretty good. A settlement is in need. No, please. Preston, you stay out of my stream. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Ow, dude, that hurt. That hurt really bad. Am I on fire or something? Why am I taking damage still? I'm still taking damage. What the fuck? Area flare effect. Oh, I'm burning. He shot a flare at me, the cheeky bugger. Here, take some headshots. How you like that, huh? You want some? Come on. That's right. Don't mess with me or my robot companion or we'll fuck you up. Begin again. Welcome to the stream, Ruth Lease. How are you doing? Hot dog costume ammo. Yeah, it is uh <laughs> pretty good. Didn't enjoy drinking the mustard, but you know the hot dog suit, it's always a treat when I get to put that on. Man, it's a good thing I stored up my stim packs. All right, where's the rest of these marked men? Are they dead? Oh, there's, I think there's one over there. Yeah, I see him. He's over there. So I think we're good in this area. Hey, we got some ammo here, but it's not the type of ammo that I want. Oh, flashbangs! I'll take some of those. I read up online that Deathclaws don't like flashbangs. Makes them flee. But when I was testing it out in this DLC, I chucked a flashbang at a Deathclaw, and the Deathclaw got flashed and then proceeded to wreck my ass. So I don't think that's true. I think they only flee from flares. Oh my god! <laughs> the fucking mine. No one expects the mine. Goddamn marked men in their traps. Got to be really, really sneaky deaky now. Be really cautious. Gotta look out for everything. There could be a mine anywhere. Anywhere, peeps. Holy crap, that is a lot of enemies. Yeah, let's do a quick save. I love the Fallout 76 video because it has so much heart behind it. Luckily, I only paid 15 bucks for that landfill of a game. Thank you, sir. I put my heart and soul into it. Especially after seeing that it got released on Steam. That pissed me right off. I knew I had to say something about it. But only paying 15 bucks for it, that's a uh, that's quite the steal. I mean, I don't think the game's worth any amount of money, really, but 15 bucks is a lot better than spending 70 bucks. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm getting shot at by something. What the fuck? Oh, you! And you're throwing grenades at me too. It's going to be tough. Ah! It hurts! The bullets! They're gonna murder Eddie. Poor Eddie. 
Oh boy. I might have to use a Magnum. Holy crap. This DLC is brutal on hard mode. Absolutely brutal. Are you going to do follow dust once you beat this? Well, maybe. I might do frost instead, followed for frost. We'll see. But either way, it's going to be another follow game. Ah! It hurts. The flare hurts. Holy shit. Can you guys believe a flare took off half my health? A fucking device used to rescue people took off half my health. I'm using a stealth boy, fuck this. Okay, we need to bust out the ranger sequoia. That's what we need to do. Come on, come on. Cheeky motherfucker, let's go. Pissed off. Gotcha. What'd she get? Hey, Sir House Cat, how you doing, man? Let me know. Or 200 for a nylon bag and moldy power armor helmet. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, I remember when they did that. That was like a, a week or two after release, they sent that out. And people. We're not pleased. I'm playing Minecraft while I watch a little bit of Minecraft. Minecraft. Are you punching trees? What about cows? Those cows need some good punching. They need some tenderizing. Oh, baby, look at that crit. Hey, stop whacking the robot. What did a robot do to you? That to gun. Is it the gun? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? What the hell? I know I stepped on a mine or got blown up by a grenade or something, but what was that beast like sound? It's like a death claw was released after me or something. That'd be a death claw. What else could it be? It could be a tunneler. Nice try. Ah. Uh, boom headshot. Damn, I'm still burning from that thing. Holy crap. Eating some death claw meat. Mm-mm-mm. You know what they say. You are what you eat. I might have punched like maybe 200 cows. Keep on punching them. They need some tenderizing. Get some pigs on the go, too. They love to be tenderized. Yeah, I don't see a... I see a ghoul. A marked man. Marked ghoul. Ow! Where the fuck am I being shot at from now? From behind? No. That was weird. 
Oh my gosh, where is the explosives coming from? Satchel charge. Pulse grenade, plasma want, plasma grenade. I'm tossing some granados. Oh yeah, okay, so it is behind me. Alright, you son of a bitch. You're wrecked. All right, some granatos. Granato! Oh my god! Are these marked men? What the fuck are these? Feral marked men. How do I have a zero chance to hit? What the fuck? What the fuck? A zero chance to hit a marked man that's like what one meter away from me in vats doesn't sound right all right we're gonna pop these guys off save pop those guys off save we're gonna do a lot of saving peeps come on yeah Let's go. Hey, Haley Pearson, welcome to the stream. Long time no chat. You got that right. How are you doing? How are things? Hey, Amanda Ribeiro, welcome to the stream. How's it going? I'm throwing a plasma grenade. Yes! I like the boom boom. A lot of the boom boom. I missed there. I think that one's a good one. Oh yeah, left arm crippled. That's how we go. Get these guys. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Holy shit. Eddie done wrecked him. I'm gonna save before I step on a mine. I know it's gonna happen. And you guys know too. I can't hit these guys in vats. It's a permanent zero percent. Boom, gotcha. Dad. Hey dad, check out this robot I found. Careful, Tommy. I've never seen a robot like that before. It might be dangerous. He's not dangerous. Look, he's hurt. Can we take him home, Dad? Maybe Mom can fix him. I don't know, son. What if someone comes looking for it? It's a robot, Please. man. He take it home. So lonely. Maybe Nurse it back to hell. He can help her out around the garage. <sighs> All right, boy. But if he breaks anything, it's coming out of your allowance. Yay! He'll be just like Ralphie. Only this one's not a toy. Sounds like the kid was pretty fond of you. Why did you leave? You gave it up to continue Whitley's mission? Oh. Was it worth it? You still haven't made it to Navarro yet. <laughs> okay, come on, Nettie. Let's go. Good, thanks. Jackson is 10 months old now and has so much attitude. I bought Ark today and tamed my first Parasaur. Ark. Nice. Personally, I never got into it. I've never played it even. But uh, it looks like looks like a dinosaur version of Minecraft. I heard you could eat your own poop in that game too. 10 out of 10 for poop eating. That's pristine game mechanics. If I make a couple of games, could I send you it and you play it? Uh, I kind of got a schedule going. 
so I don't know if I'll be able to fit that in, but uh, send that in Discord anyway. And I'll see if I got some time to check it out. All right, Star Knight. Thanks, man. Wouldn't have me you mind your own business. <laughs> oh, mind your call. Nice house cat. The wordplay is real. Cute robot. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty cute guy. It's pretty handy too. Even though he has no hands. He gets every radio station out there, and I can repair stuff with him, and I can make bullets using his modification. It's nice. Oh, great. More of them. More friggin' marked men. We don't know what to do here. We gotta save. That's the first thing we gotta do. No, you could use it as fertilizer, though. That is true. You could use a lot of things for fertilizer. Get out of here, marked men. Them men's are marked for death. Wrecked where you knew that was inevitable. Yes, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. That was inevitable too. What can you do? I like how Eddie's taking up all the damage. It's nice. <laughs> He's soaking up all that damage for me. He's a true friend. Yep, like maybe hot dogs. Hot dog fertilizer. <laughs> That's the redneck way. So these things that are blowing me up, they're not mines, they're actually satchel charges. Which is why they're insta-killing me instead of just blowing an arm or a leg off. And I have a couple of those. I should start using them. You know what? It would probably be handier to use them in the upcoming Ulysses boss fight. Maybe I could find a way to make him run into them. I'll tell him they're candy. Hey, Ulysses, it's uh, candy. Yeah, I'm just throwing candy on the ground here. Go ahead and step over it. <laughs> It'll blow out your sweet tooth. Duffel bag, got some bullets, some buff out. All right, we got some steroids, nice. We're gonna level up the speech. I might be able to talk my way out of this if I level up one more time. Unless he has a speech check of 100, then I'm pretty much screwed. So we have one more level up left. Then we're max level. I'm going to put all the points into speech so we can get that as high as possible. And then maybe we might be able to talk Ulysses out of uh, doing what he's going to do. Maybe, you know, talk him into being friends. And, uh, <laughs> fucking satchel charges. See, this is the reason why this DLC is such a pain in the ass for me. Fucking minds. Insta kill goddamn mines. The constant 
fear of getting shrapnel shot up my asshole. <laughs> I didn't even have to walk over that one. Wild creepers is what is actually blowing you up. Oh yeah, the wild creepers. They're buried underneath the dirt. You can only see them by their nose. They're, they're glowing red nose. <laughs> they're reindeer creepers. Okay, am I out of range now? Yeah, I'm out of range. Please don't blow me up. Oh, there's another one right there. They put two. Cheeky buggers. No more mines, please. Thank you. Okay. We're good on the mines. gotta go this way I can't super chat I'm not sure if I have super chat I'm pretty sure you have to like go up to a thousand subs before that's unlocked there's some sort of requirement there that I haven't met yet but we're really close to meeting it if it is a thousand subs and we're about 300 away it's pretty darn cool man pretty darn cool when you think about it And I think once I reach a thousand, I have the ability to customize my own channel URL and a couple of other things. What the hell was that? It sounded like a nuke. How long are you planning to stream for? Until the heat becomes unbearable. <laughs> Lately, the weather has been so goddamn hot that, like, after two, maybe tops three hours of streaming, I'm just drenched. Completely drenched. Like, once I get out of my chair, my back's drenched in sweat, my fucking, my shirt is just, it, it, it's like I hopped in a pool, basically. <laughs> but if it's not too bad today, then... Might go till 10. We'll see. Alright, the laser detonator. Lol, I'm out high OU. You guys must have it really bad over there. Must be like living in a deep fryer. Except it smells a lot worse. Because of the BO. I live in Ontario, Canada. And the weather here is pretty weird. It is really random. That was a 308 round. Probably hand loaded. That would have destroyed most robots your size. Holy crap. I wonder why you didn't make it all the way to Navarro. Can't believe you keep kept on going after that. Jeez, Eddie, you're a trooper. All right, let's keep on moving. I don't like the look of this place. But as I was saying, the weather we have down here is pretty random. One week, it could be hot as hell. No rain clear skies and then the next week we could have a snowstorm it's it's retardedly random we have had snowstorms in the middle of summer we have had heat what do they call them heat waves heat waves we've had heat waves in the middle of winter too so you never know what to expect right now though it is hot as balls good thing i'm not outside Good thing I have an AC, too. I would not like to be without an AC in this weather. The humidity we get, too, is ridiculous. We, we get around... I want to say... 70% humidity average. 
That's what makes it hot here. It's not that the weather is actually hot, it's the humidity that makes it feel like it's friggin' boiling. And don't get me wrong, I like the heat. I've been to Jamaica before. And the heat they have there is nice. It's not humid at all. It's uh, it's really hot because of the sun and everything, but there's a nice breeze that goes through it, so it doesn't really feel that hot. It's really easy to get a sunburn there just because you don't really feel the heat with the nice breeze. Here, oh my god, you feel every goddamn degree, every percent of humidity, everything. When I walk outside, I feel like a strip of bacon on the sidewalk. Ninety-three Fahrenheit with fifty percent humidity. Hmm. I don't know Fahrenheit very well. What would that be in Celsius? Would that be around thirty? If so, that's not that bad. Fifty percent humidity. Eh. Humidity kind of sucks. It's not too bad. I hate dry heat. Dry heat's the worst, man. When you don't have a breeze, and you're just feeling that hot ass sun on your back mixed with the humidity it is just unbearable it's like you're being steamed d5 fahrenheit in the house as usual 30 plus oh boy oh boy i hope you have an ac house cat <laughs> If not, you're a goddamn trooper. Oh boy. You got some tunnelers. You got some tunnelers. Let's uh let's throw bum some bombs. We'll throw some incendiary grenades. Burn them out. Yeah, burn baby. Burn, tunneler, burn. Disco, burn, oh. Burn, tunneler, burn. That tunneler is on fire. Take him out, Eddie. Zap him. I'll burn him, you zap him. We're gonna have some cooked tunneler for dinner. Oh, that one's running away. All right. Now, I'm hoping there's no mines down here. But you never know. I'll try to keep an eye out. I got mines that jingle, jingle, jingle. And then when someone comes merrily along. Jingle, jingle. Headshot. Give me a crit. Give me a lucky crit. Come on. More lucky crits. Critical. Nice. Eddie Tunneler Slayer. From hell. It's set to 85 Fahrenheit, 29 border Celsius. All right. House cat, I do have AC. Good. I'm glad, man. It would, I wonder what what's worse, being a hobo in the winter time or being homeless in the summer? Probably the winter, right? Holy shit, we got the whole clan of tunnelers here. We got a queen. <laughs> no, they knocked over Eddie. You bastards. You stay away from Eddie. Eddie's my boy. I'll burn you, boys. Die, motherfucker. Ow. Ow, it hurts. It hurts. Tunneler hurts. The tunnelers hurt, man. He's dead. Okay, there's a venomous one. Get him, Eddie. I can't, because I have one. I'm dead. <laughs> I got one HP. No, I'm dead. 
Hey, little biscuit, welcome. Where's Big Biscuit? All right, we're gonna throw down a plasma mine because these fucking tunnelers, they don't screw around. False grenade, we use the riot shoddy. That did us pretty good. Be my boomstick. I call him Bob. Bob the boomstick. Bob the boomstick just wrecked your queen. Wrecked her sideways. You know what? I have some of these. Let's do this. Bam! Two satchels. I'm gonna heal up while those stupid tunnelers run into them. Come on, tunnelers. Come on. I know you're still there. Oh, Eddie. Eddie. Wait, did Eddie just run into my satchel charge? Come on, Eddie. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Eddie, we, we gotta talk. Like, you can't keep on tripping my explosives like this. Now, I don't know how you're doing it. I mean, you don't have any legs. So that's kind of suspicious, but you gotta stop. No means no. And yes means no. And maybe also means no. Just don't do it, man. Come on. Blood for the blood god! Yes, the blood god is satisfied. The, the, the blood god is on the blood throne. Oh my god, more tunnelers. Tunnel this! Okay, don't actually tunnel it, please. Where, where are they coming from? Okay, I need a stim pack. Shooting up. Oh, they're coming over here. Tunneler. Oh, tunneler. <laughs> I'm enjoying these satchel charges a lot more than I thought I would. All right, Mr. Hulk. Hulk tunneler. Prepare to get wrecked. Nice. Is that it? Is that all the baddies? Let's do a save. Favorite game? It'd probably have to be this game. Fallout New Vegas it is one of the best games that I have ever played, period. Which is why I keep on returning to it. It's a game from my childhood that I played through. A game that I still play today because it still holds up today. Holds up pretty damn well. Considering it was released, what, back in 2010? Feel free to correct me on that. Tour. Should I be cussing in the stream? I don't care. It's up to you, man. I cuss on my stream. So, uh... I'm not against cussing in the chat. If you want to throw out a few fucks and, you know... Maybe a bitch or two? Feel free. He died standing up. This guy is a legend. That marked man is a legend.
All right, what we got here? We got a filing cabinet. We got some pre-war money. Nice. Okay, what else do we got? Please no bombs. Just gonna say that off the bat. Maybe we should do a prayer for no, no satchel charges. We'll pray to the blood god. Pray that we don't step on any mines. No sitting down, gang. <laughs> I wonder where the rest of the gang is at. Next week on Ralphie the Robot's Incredible Odyssey. Ralphie, hurry! If mean old General Winters catches you, you'll never make it home! No! Ralphie, fly far, fly fast! Tune in next Saturday for the exciting conclusion. Only on Vault Tech Channel 9. The suspense Eddie? is killing me, man. What are you doing in here all alone? I need to know what happens. And who left these old videos playing? Come on, let's get you into your recharge bay. We've got a big day tomorrow. Suddenly a lot of things make more sense. Yes, Eddie, I'm sure Ralphie the robot would be very proud of you. Come on, Eddie. We gotta fly far and fly fast if we want to get to the end of the divide. Bow! Wow! Wow! It sounds like a showdown at high noon theme. It's high noon. Wow! 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 Thought that explosion, that building falling deep in the divide, might have been your work. Wouldn't kill you. Maybe close. Knew you'd survive, but no need to go any farther. You've brought me what I need. That machine with you, sealed in the Hopeville silo. Needed someone to unlock it, bring it home. Now the signal's strong enough. No need for you to carry it anymore. I can call your machine to me. Don't you dare. Eddie's not going anywhere. You gave it a name. What was it to you? Companion? Slave? Weapon? All of that. Nothing compared to its He's primary He's my friend. Function. It's a messenger. Like us. And it shares our history. If you feel its loss, remember, you could have turned away at any time, gone back home, and none of this would have happened. Hmm. But you had to make one last delivery, and that's why I knew you'd come a courier. Couldn't stay away. It's who you are. That's me. What's so important about him? If you think you could take him from me, try. The machine you I dare you, Ulysses. Now. I fucking dare you. Home. I'll reduce it to parts. Just enough to function, to be aware of what's happening. What's inside that machine? That's all that mattered. All the machines here, made of wreckage from the Divide, and all that was brought here. Inside its frame, it carries the message you brought here, and it'll do what it was programmed to do. Whatever it can to get home. The Giants here will listen to it. I'll bring the divide to your home, your nation. Let its no, flags please. burn, just like you let the divide burn. No, please. Big mountain access code, Ulysses. Command override. Eddie? Navarro. Eddie, please don't go. Don't go, Eddie, please. No! No! 
Eddie! God damn you, Ulysses! You're gonna pay for this! You took my only friend out in this shithole. The only thing that kept me sane. Now you're gonna feel the wrath of Rector. Rector, I love your live stream because others are annoying because it's usually filled with like 500 people and you can't talk to the person who is a role model. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Thank you, sir. I like interacting with you guys. Uh, it's a big part of the stream. I like communicating with you guys. It makes it feel more of uh, more like I'm playing the stream with a couple of my buddies. Rather than, you know, just playing the game alone. And I like it. It's a... It's a pretty interesting and neat experience. And I guess that's the reason why I keep on doing it. User interaction. He's not wrong, you know. You feel the same way, House Cat? Thank you, sir. Yeah, I like talking to you guys. And I'm glad the feeling's mutual. Hell yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, Death Claws! Oh, Death Claws! Leave me alone. No. Get your janky ass claws away from me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Keep on tripping over those satchel charges. See where that gets you. It's like voice chat on Discord. You're not physically there, but you can feel the company. Yeah, I think you nailed it on the head. Nailed it right on the head, House Cat. Critical. Yes! Alright, you're going. You're up next, Deathclaw. I like how you can hit fire this thing. Nice! You can slam the hammer and quick fire it. Yeah, but it's like an interesting way of interacting with your community. And if I'm thinking of it, like back when I was in college, I would have never thought, I would have never expected that this would be a thing for me. Like I'd be here right now streaming and talking to you guys, have my own community, you know, full of cool people to chat with. It's been quite the ride. It's not even close to being over. Well, maybe your life is in this video game, but <laughs> you know what I mean. The YouTube slash Twitch journey is far from over. It's just started. And now we know there's death claws over here, so I could throw those satchels down and blow them up to blow their legs off. I think that's the most important part of fighting death claws. You gotta blow their legs up because if you don't, then they're gonna come after you and they're gonna wreck you fast. Everyone, press the Garvey bot activate. No, please. No, please. No. No, thank you. No, press the Garveys. I'm gonna put up a sign behind me that says no Garveys allowed, especially if your first name is Preston. I'm gonna have a picture of Preston Garvey. It's gonna stay underneath it. No Garveys allowed. <laughs> no Garveys in this stream. Come on. 
We're running like pansies. You do realize your name is Deathclaw, right? Like, they literally named you after death and you ran away. Hey, blood sausage. Oh, I'm taking it's blood sausage, eh? I wonder what part of it I'm eating. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Oh my god, that hurt. That really freaking hurt. Holy crap. Take it out, take it out. I can't. There we go. That was close. Nope! <laughs> Holy shit! That death claw launched me! That thing just launched me halfway across the map. Jesus. That death claw is baseball player material. That's like Babe Ruth if he was a death claw. Constantly smacking home runs. Ammo, you should definitely do that. Or maybe I should put up like a wanted poster behind me that says Preston Garvey wanted dead or alive. Maybe that will detour, detour him. Oh my god, he just ran right through it. What the fuck? He did not care. <laughs> that death claw did not give a shit about that satchel charge. It's like satchel charge? What satchel charge? I got legs of steel. Yeah, but I've been trolled by a couple of Garbies before. I had a, a couple of cheeky viewers that showed up in the chat and changed their name and their profile picture to Preston Garvey. And then they just spammed Preston Garvey quotes. Like your settlement is under attack and um, a settlement needs your help and all this shit. That was pretty funny, I gotta say. Pretty interesting experience. I wish I still had the footage. Are they fighting each other? Dude, they're fighting each other. Whoa! It's a death claw off and the one death claw slapped the other one into kingdom come. All right, we're gonna save here just in case you run into any more death claws. I think I remember that. Yeah, that was during my playthrough of Fallout 4. It was pretty damn funny. We had like four Preston Garbies spamming the chat with, oh, your your settlement's under attack. Your settlement needs some assistance. Your settlement this, your settlement that. General. I was just, please stop. It's enough that I have to deal with you in game. Now I have to deal with you through street chat too. Come on. Preston Garvey, the only character in Fallout 4 you want to strangle with your underwear. Yes. That is extremely accurate. Hell, I'd strangle him with a G-string. The man deserves it. Okay, I got shot at by this guy. Okay. Um. Oh, those are guns. Okay. Now I'm getting shot at. This is going to be hard because I don't really have a long distance option here. I have the Ranger Sequoil, which is pretty good long range, but it's out of ammo. So I guess I'm going to have to improvise. Oh my god, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts so much. Come on, come on, ah! It hurts, <laughs> it still hurts. Stealth boy, where's stealth boy up? 
Ah, uh -huh, you can't see me. All right, I'm gonna get closer. Hopefully, I don't trip any mines. What is this? A nuclear warhead? That was a clutch nuke. These satchel charges are gonna drive me fucking bonkers. <laughs> They're in places that I least expected them to be, too. Like, in front of a nuclear warhead that I just detonated. Whoever placed those satchel charges, they did a damn good job. Either that, or I'm oblivious as ever. I think it's a mix of the two. Very few people or characters that have a certain ability where they say one line and you want to strangle their soul out of their body. Yes, Preston is very special. He's a very special boy for this. He is universally hated by every Fallout fan. That is his special ability. Okay, where's that stupid satchel charge? It was up here somewhere and I can't see it now. Mind your step. House cat. I want to blow my brains out now. I want to go. <laughs> because reading that joke ruined me. That was the daddest joke I've ever heard in my life. I think they're dead. I think they're dead. I hope they're dead. Oh no, what am I fighting now? Oh, that's a big boom. Try vats. Yeah, I've been spamming vats. I'm not sure if vats actually shows up though. Or gotta take care of this guy. I'm not sure if that's actually works for mines or traps in hardcore mode. At least I haven't gotten it to work. I've had to like oh my god. Their slaps hurt. Who knew that a naked man could slap so goddamn hard? Yeah, but I'm not sure if that's disabled in hardcore mode or what the dealio is there, but I don't think, I don't remember a single time that I've been able to pinpoint where a mine is in VATS while playing hardcore mode. I've done it all the time in normal mode. That's like my, my go-to thing of uh, telling where mines are. Didn't have to spend any ammo, nothing. It was awesome. Yeah, but not sure if that's a thing in hardcore mode. Let's continue. Ow! I'm getting shot up by something. Oh my fu- Whoa! Stealth boy, huh? I see. I see. You're a sneaky. Cheeky little bugger. We got a sneaky breaky bugger. We're gonna have to mind our step. Is it bad that I already forgot where I'm going? I think it's this way. Yeah, because we just blew up this warhead. How are you supposed to utilize large cauldrons of liquids to find satchel charges? very carefully that sucks yeah. <laughs> uh 
That was a big boom. I done got jumped. No, please, don't slap me! It hurts! That's right. That's right. You're wrecked. Okay, now that blade guy's gonna be coming, so we need to uh, make sure we got some stakes, because blade's a vampire, right? We got some pulse grenades, some pulse mines. We got a satchel charge left, which I'm going to use. Maybe not. Maybe I'll die first. This guy's sniping me from somewhere. I'm not sure where. Oh! Yeah, okay. Now I know where that is. I went up over the, the house. Yeah, I went through the house last time. That's why I didn't encounter it. Here we go. Holy crap. All right, we're gonna deal with this blade guy and this uh, marked man. They are being very, very annoying. Hey, ammo. Hey, satchel charge, nice. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. I'm gonna save. We're right back, gonna get more cabbage soup. Cabbage soup! Oh, it sounds so good, man. It's been a long time since I have cabbage soup. Or cabbage rolls, for that matter. They're so tasty. Definitely one of my favorite type of food. Wah, 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 wah. feel like James Bond. Do, 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 Come on. Come on, dude. I know you're out there. Come on. He's gonna kill me in under two seconds when I'm not watching. I'm calling it now. Hmm. Weird. Why didn't I get shot this time? Is he over here? Really strange how I didn't get shot up that time. I don't know where this guy's coming from, but we got to keep an eye out just to make sure. Welcome back, Star Knight. Oh, shit. What was that? What the heck was that? Oh, my God. Holy shit. That scared me. Okay, we're gonna eat some blood sausages. Bloody boy sausages. I don't think that heals us right away, so we're gonna have to pop a stim pack too. Hey, look. Ralphie poster, the robot's incredible odyssey. That guy looks like Stalin. <laughs> oh, there he is! I found him! There he is. There he is, the prick. 
I see him. Okay, I'm gonna get him with the... Let's get him with the Gehenna. Gehenna! He's on fire now! And now he's gonna wreck me. This is where it starts to go downhill. Get back! Now that he's backing up, I'm gonna throw an obvious satchel charge at his feet. Oh my god! What the fuck? There was another one! There was another one! Oh boy, I don't know how I feel about that. Getting gang raped by a uh, buddy. Damn, I can't aim. Okay, there's no way it's me. There we go. Yeah, but that was interesting, getting smashed by the guy with the rocket launcher and the guy with the full blade. I'll put that in the water. It was a wild Pikachu. I wish. Then all I need was a Pokeball. Don't choke on the sausage. Wink, wink. I'll try not to, but you know, you know that sausage life. You know how it goes. Sometimes you can't help it. Just end up choking. You got fucked up! You got that right. I got fucked up to the extreme. I'm water and sour cream. Hey. The rag boy! Please no rocket launcher, please! Rocket launcher bad. I don't like it. Yo, Scoot. How you doing? Let me know, big booty friend. Hey, it's evil. Yeah, evil is here, and he's definitely a queer. Nah, I'm just joshing you, Scoot. I'm joshing you, man. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get smashed now. This is what I get. Being a dick. Come here. Where are you? Got him! Get murked. I just uh, stub my face now. I don't want to move. I wouldn't want to move either. What'd you have for Din Din? Mr. Scooty, if you don't mind me asking. Alright, so we wrecked that guy. Now we gotta make it past the guy with the rocket launcher. The guy that's currently shooting me. Oh, he's up there. That's easy enough. Just activate the warhead. <laughs> yes, sir. Scooty is the moderator with the biggest booty. The most voluptuous booty. That ever was. He rules with an iron cheek. Only one. 
I smoked up a whole chicken and served it with yellow rice and mac and cheese. Oh my god, I am so hungry now. Oh man, I want some of that. I want some of it. Is thou God? Thou booty is God. Thou has a godlike booty with four C's. Thick with four C's. Big boom. All right, I'm gonna save it. Scoot is a bitch. God damn, how's cats throwing shots? Let's hope the booty could take it. I think I'm gonna have to go up in that house. Man, my hand's sore. I pinched a nerve on it when I was sleeping on Friday. And it's still bothering me. Don't you hate that when you pinch a nerve and it like lasts throughout the whole week? Constantly get this soreness. It's the worst. I can't go this way. But there is a couple of good things here. Fuck was that? What do you want? Is it normal to find a glowing book while fishing? It depends on where you're fishing. Like if you're fishing in the middle of Chernobyl, then yeah. If you're fishing in Africa, then yeah. If you're fishing in your bathtub, then no, it, it is not normal to find a glowing book. Nope, it's Cthulhu. Never mind not opening that. Why? Cthulhu likes to play too, you know? You gotta have, you gotta give Cthulhu some attention. Cthulhu's an upstanding citizen. Cthulhu is love. Cthulhu is life. Cthulhu Fatagan. Is every market in Africa a black market? Whoa! Now you got me thinking. I think I know the way now, peeps. We have to go up through here, make a left down here, and climb through that way. But we gotta watch out for mines. Cause I don't wanna blow my foot off, not when we reached, we made it this far. Hey, look, a duffel bag. Oh my gosh, we got some good stuff here. Nice, we got an NCR Ranger action report. Stim packs, hatchet, bed, oh my god. We got everything we need here. Let's listen to that NCR action report. Oh wait, we have to read it. All right, third platoon, Cazador Company. Fourth Ranger Battalion Action Report. Staff Sergeant Balmora reporting. We've reached the area local tribes call the Divide, but so far, I don't think this will be a suitable route for bringing troops to Hoover Dam. The terrain is a nightmare. We've seen evidence of hostile indigenous life, and the Geiger counters are ticking like grandfather clocks on turbo. 
Why am I not surprised? Another action report. Hey, purified water. Don't mind if I do. Got some drugs, too. Drugs are always handy. I can't sleep on these guys' beds. I don't want to sleep. Cannot sleep while being irradiated. Tell that to the ghouls. Okay. We gotta find a way through here. I know it's on the other side there somewhere. Not sure how to get there though. Jackie's ammunition. Got some ammunition. Gotta go that way. Settlement is in need of our help. Can you lend a hand? Banned! <laughs> Insta ban! No mercy for the Garbies. No mercy. Scoot, it's a Fallout 4 joke. And kind of an inside stream joke, too. Preston Garvey is a hated man. Sounds like they got running water. That's more than I thought they'd have. This DLC must be a, a godsend for people who do explosives. Because there's so many explosives you, you could get in this. Like the satchel charges, the mines, the rocket launcher. I think it's called the red flare. I'm thinking of making a build around there. Well, around that idea. Where my major skills will be speech, uh, explosives, and lockpick. I call it the explosive politician build. A.K.A. Donald Trump. She's back at Sanctuary. Oh no, this is where I came from. That's the dead man that was standing. Okay, well, gotta be some place to go. I'm probably heading in the wrong direction. I wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't doubt it for a second. damage hurts that's the way I came this is where you encountered the death clues the death clues maybe I could just go this that way just go straight ahead through the water You know what? I might be onto something. I think I found the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't be talking about my man Trump. I'll travel my ass up to Canada, buy several rounds of beers while we debate our views. You're gonna have to wait for them to uh, unblock the border first. You're gonna have to reopen the border first, my friend. 
But yeah, when this whole COVID thing blows over, I'm sure. I wouldn't mind if you drove up here with like a 2-4 and wanted to discuss political views. I'm all for it, man. As long as you're buying the beer, I'm in. Let's be honest here, though. Trump is a walking toupee. I've never seen so much orange in my life. And I've been to an orange farm. That man's got a tan that even construction workers envy. $200 for nylon trash bags and moldy armor. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's the followed 76 way. Lord and Savior Todd Howard. Oh, this is spooky. I don't like this. This is super spooky. Oh, NCR radio distress beacon. Oh my god! Holy shit, that scared me. Oh my god, dude. That was a death claw. Oh no, that was roar. No, he's gonna fuck. Oh, he's gonna obliterate me, dude. This isn't the right way. This is not where I wanted to go. All it took was one swipe, one bitch slap. That's all it took. I'm getting this motherfucker though. I'm not giving up. I got tested for COVID Wednesday. I'm good. I haven't been tested yet because I haven't been showing the symptoms. I think I got COVID a while back before they started going to quarantine though because I was really sick. I had to take a week off of work because I caught something from a buddy. Then after that, I was fine. It was kind of like the flu. So I don't know. I might be immune to it already. I'll probably bring the beer. I bet Canadian beer is expensive. Oh yeah. Especially when I'm paying for it. Go away, Rar! Go away! Ha ha ha! Loser. Okay, I need to set him on fire. Do something. Get him! Get him! Get him! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! No! There, there was another one. I'm dead. I allow all views to be seen by my eyes. If that were the case, we need to buy glasses for everyone in the stream chat. R -r -r Roasted! I love wrecked purse gears. I don't. <laughs> it's scary. Bruh, he only took one hit and then died. Don't be so delicate. It's easy to say when you're not the one playing the video game. Also easy to say when you don't have an endurance build. Oh, I need to shoot him. Nope! Give me... This. Oh no, it knocked me over too. I got a critical strike on him though. His right leg is crippled. 
Can I finish this? Can I kill Rar and obtain the fist of Rar? Yes, I can. I did it. I got Zerar. Zerar is Talin. Very nice. It's a very nice Talin. This claw is larger and more impressive than uh, those of the lesser death claws. You might be able to turn it into a weapon if you find the workbench. I'll keep that in mind. I was tested two weeks ago because I had to have me gallbladder removed. Ooh. What does your gallbladder do? Does it stir pee? Then my bro was here last Sunday and started showing symptoms that afternoon, so I just got tested again. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Get tested two weeks ago, then your bro shows up, starts hacking all over you, and you gotta get tested again. Too long to don't read. I don't have AIDS. Not yet! Wait until you come over to Canada. Make sure you leave with AIDS. That's what we do. That's the Canadian way. Our quote from Rector, our savior, Lord Todd fucking Howard. Yes. Flex is a Durns 10. Mmm, <laughs> Endurance 10. Blood for the blood god! How about some Sunset Sarsaparilla for the lonely traveler that just took on Rar by himself? A yeah, plasma pistol. <gasps> the best armor in the game! Oh, look at this! Look at all that DT or DR! Look at that! Oh man, I can't wait to use this. I think I'm gonna take out the plasma pistol, I don't need that. Look at this, I got the best armor in the game, guys. The sexiest sleepwear available. I got it from Sears. Oh boy, do I ever feel sexy. A sexy Rector with the sleepwear and the beret. Your gallbladder transfers bile from your liver, I believe. So it's like a backup liver, sort of. Don't you need that? How can your body function without that? Where does it send the bile? Like, does it just drop off in your body somewhere? Like the edge of a cliff? Okay, this is where I came from. Rector looking like a snack. No, oh yeah, dude, with those two C's. Got that thick with the two C's. <laughs> Ulysses is about to see the divide of my ass cheeks. <laughs> Ulysses, come see the divide of my ass cheeks. I gotta divide all right. I'm gonna bend over and spread them. Show you the moon of the great divide. Maybe I could just jump up here. Oh, look, look at that, dude. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Nope, apparently you don't need it. I don't know how it works without it. Witchcraft, probably. See how I'm picturing it is it just drops the bile off so like if it can't transport it there it just goes you know it 
It's got to do something else, though. There's no way he could stay healthy like that. I'm not a doctor. As you guys have already... Can already tell. I'm not a doctor. I'm far from it. I need to use sexy sleepwear to repair my Vault 34 security armor. So there goes the sexy sleepwear. Sorry, guys. It had to be done. I had to get rid of the best armor of the game. Sacrifices must be made. Hey, I see you. Nice try. Nice try. There we go. No more bombs, right? No more bombs? Good. There's something here. Oh, there he is! Marked Men Ravager. See, the interesting thing about Marked Men is they're a combination of Kaisers and the NCR forces. So right now we're fighting Kaiser's, um, old Kaiser's forces that pretty much have turned into ghouls. Before we were fighting NCR. Yeah, near the start. Some of them have the Blade of the West, which is a... It's like the brother of the Blade of the East that that one guy has. I forget what his name is. Legus? Legus? Legate or something like that? So they hurt. They hurt in Malay. Oh boy. Oh no, I gotta reload. Combat reload. He's just waiting for me. Ah, he's polite. It's like, take your time. Ow. <laughs> Machine gun hurts. Not the sleepwear. Don't worry, I got even sexier sleepwear. Back at Novak. It's leopard printed. What the fuck? May go straight to the intestine intestines and out your bum. I'll be sure to ask Wednesday when I see the doc, you know. For science. It's going somewhere. It'd be better off knowing than not knowing, right? Oh, headshot! I don't know what that was. Now they're just a bunch of giblets. They're very nice. I'm gonna throw a flashbang over here. When did he get a rocket launcher? I thought he had a machine gun. What the fuck? Guy just busted out the rocket launch. He's like, screw this little pansy machine gun. I'm gonna blow this guy to smithereens. Hey, it worked. Alright, this guy's getting headshotted again. What about the guy behind him? Ammo, did you hear about Fallout First membership? Fallout 76. Yes, that was one of the major points of my video. And how the Fallout First membership, you have to pay for unlimited storage space in a looting game. And how bullshit that is. Yeah, I can't say I'm a big fan of Fallout First or 76. Alright, we're gonna throw a frag grenade, because that guy doesn't fuck around. He's got a machine gun again.
She believes he can fly. The mark man believes he can touch the sky. He believes it every night. And day. Wakes out the window and flies away. Please don't step on a mine, please. Please, no mines. No mines, please. Thank you. Hey, blood sausage. I like that sausage. You know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. They live in little huts. Is that a vault? I think that's a vault. Hundred dollars a year for private server too. Yeah, when that it should be with the game already. You shouldn't have to pay for that, man. Most of the stuff in the Fallout First membership you shouldn't have to pay for. Again, the best singer goes to Amanda Ribeiro. Don't worry, I'll get him next time, Amanda. No hostiles detected. Continuing pro Oh boy, we're facing some robots. Can't say I prepared for robots. Hello? Hello? No hostiles detected. Continuing perimeters. Robot. Hello? Hello? Hi there. Come on. Come on. The fuck? He just... He just rolled away. What the hell? He just rolled away. That was very rude of you. That was a shitty roll. No. I'm runner up. Oh my god. This is why I wanted to plasma grenade him. Hello, evil dude. Do I get to put more points into speech? That robot does not fuck around. No Got him. Hey, hey, we're getting that speech up there to ninety. Uh, we're gonna also do. Where is it here? Tense training, comprehension, swift learner, retention. I wanna max out speech. There should be a perk here that allows me to train in speech. Man! It would be really. Really dumb to get the here and now perk, especially since I'm at max level. Where is it here? There should be a perk here that allows me to bump up my speech. It wasn't comprehension. Blood belly. I'm thinking of a trait, not a perk. Maybe I should just bump up my charisma. Ooh, mysterious stranger. 
Life Giver might be nice. Actually, we're going to get Action Boy. I like the Vats bump up. 90 speed should be good enough, especially with all the magazines I have that boost it. Bow, bow, bow. Direct sentry bot. Hey, 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 you suck. Yeah, lol. Follow first is a heap of shit because the max limit for stuff is 800 pounds, so it gets filled really fast. And on top of that, all storage items are connected to the stupid ass stash box. Yeah, so you only have a max. And in a game that you want to hoard weapons, big, beefy, awesome weapons, you can't because you have a limited stash. Unless you pay. Unless you pay. That's how they get you. Damn it, I was hoping for a friendly robot, like Eddie. That one doesn't look friendly. Hey, commissary terminal. No, I need my Eddie for the commissary terminal. Access main care corridor. Is this one? Yes. Hey, it's an auto dock. Let's get healed. Hopefully we don't end up like Christine. I'm gonna drop that ammo. I don't really need flamer fuel. I have a shit ton of rockets. Why do I have so many rockets? Yeah, I'll drop all those rockets. I don't need them. We're gonna save again. Once you ascend this elevator, you cannot return until you end this. If you have anything else you want to do before going ahead, take care of it now. Take the elevator. We're doing it, peeps. We're confronting Ulysses. Oh, sick. Look at this perk I got. Lonesome Road. As long as you have no companions, your attacks inflict plus 10% damage, and you have plus 10% accuracy in VATS. Nice. Because you can't spell Bethesda without EA. <laughs> That's for sure. Wow, wow, wow. Recon here. Welcome to the stream, Recon. A.K.A. Francisco Garcia. We're at the end of this DLC here. We're about to confront Ulysses and his iBot army. Hey, what do you think you're doing with that nuke? Wait, hold on. What if I were to... I got an idea. It's not a good idea, but it's an idea. I'm going to try it out. Damn it, does it work? Damn it. I can blow that up though, right? Yeah, the, the warheads just sitting around, I can. Huh. Blow it up. Ooh. Hey, brother, what's Even going on? In this place, NCR's shadow falls. Or is it just you, courier? Without the bear's corpse to weigh you down. You are too late. The divide is awakening. The package and the message within have come full circle. The sequence has begun just as before. Except this time, the missiles will touch the sky instead of being locked beneath the ground. Now, before I continue, I want to give you guys sort of like a fun fact about Ulysses. You see his face? That's not his face. He's wearing a mask. He actually looks like uh, that one guy, that powder ganger that um, we encountered at 
that one town where people were being crucified. You know, the guy with the broken legs so you could help out with Menax or just choose to abandon? Yeah, so that's not actually his face. That's a mask. It's a pretty darn good one, too. Still don't understand why are you doing this? What happened at the divide? What I did was an accident. What you're doing, it's madness. It's madness. No. Now there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The divide, the chip, the machine you brought here. Many messages can be Welcome taken to the stream for Rem. Nice Rick roll. Or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and divide you. How many lurks are there? Say comrade if you're not a lurker. Okay, comrade. We'll say no Russian. No Russian, comrade. Okay, comrade. Want me to do it again? I don't think I have to ask you. <laughs> you're gonna do it. You are the reincarnation of Rick Astley. You know what? Let's reload this because I didn't use that magazine that I wanted to use beforehand. That should bump my... Yeah, that should bump my speech. No, that's the wrong one. Where's it here? Programmer's Digest. I thought it was called Meeting People. I want to make sure my speech is max before I talk to him. Now, sadly, I don't have a magazine on me that could do that. I thought I did, but I don't. Do I have anything that could bump my charisma? I got Mentats. Don't take drugs, kids. I'm just taking them to help with uh, my talking skills. Do we have any alcohol? Vodka, where is the vodka, comrade? The vodka. No vodka, da. I need vodka. Damn, if we kept that sexy sleeper, I could get a plus one to charisma. Shit. Maybe I should have kept it. Please tell me there's a magazine around here somewhere. A, that's a foot locker. God, I hate dead memes that get brought up and are relevant. Like Harambe. Too soon? I don't mind dead memes that they're good memes. I actually like them. He's spamming. He's good for now. Yeah, I wouldn't call that spamming. He put it in, what, two times? All right, we're going to get rid of these rockets. I don't need these. Good call. Recon and Star Knight working together. You guys are the dynamic duo. Now, if I could find myself some goddamn magazines, that'd be nice. Skin pack and a bobby pin. Just gonna walk around everywhere. He's going to wait for me while I loot this whole place. 
Don't worry, Ulysses. I'm almost done. Almost done. What's this? Arc welder. Damn it, no magazine. Okay, what is my stats right now? Speech is 92. That's not where I want it to be. I want it to be at 100. If there's anything, anything at all that could raise my charisma. I need to find it and use it. Sadly, I don't think there's anything else other than Mentats, and I've already used those. Even All right, this place. Mr. Ulysses, we're gonna talk. You madness! No madness. Many. This is the divide. If you blame me for the divide, then let me answer it, not others. <laughs> blame you. No. We're the Learned Wonder Twins. From you. <laughs> you guys are the Both Wonder the Twins. the to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. Flag I follow? Buddy, I'm Canadian. I don't follow the American flag. So what, you intend to bomb the Mojave? No. Not the Mojave, the West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. Hmm. You walked the West, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. And knowing that you believe in a bear sickness and have given it strength. And that gives more reason to lay waste to your homeland. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly or destroy itself. Nuking the wasteland isn't going to solve our problems. You can't destroy the West, even with all the missiles here. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear. Just cut its throat. You taught me that hmm. at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line, the road, to watch something greater hmm. die. I'll turn the long 15 into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam, and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. NCR, even if you have no faith in the NCR, I do. My actions have proven it. Your actions have carried strength. If you speak for the two-headed bear, I'll hear your words, even if I will be the only one to hear them. If you believe it should not die this day, then answer me why. One could build a community, make it stronger. You saw it at the Divide, even blamed me for it. History has proven this. Our history. And you think that you have this strength enough for all of NCR. The West is not at the Divide. And nothing you can do can prevent the missile's launch. Convincing me changes nothing. Well, I just said all that because I'm betting you have some way to stop this. I believe that one person can make or break a nation. You already know this. Well, I just said all that because I'm betting you have some way to stop this. So, you resort to trickery. You were hoping that you could deceive me, reveal that somehow I can stop all this. Hopefully. Your nation will burn no! as intended, and the last words of its messenger were not for its people, but to beg for mercy. Hmm. I kind of want to restart that. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I want to see if I can convince them to stop. Because I already passed that Even speech check. Play. Um, okay, madness. Let me answer it for it. Uh, do you intend to bullet bomb the Mojave? Can't destroy the West. NCR. Then the 90 speech check. And I believe that one person can make or break a nation. You already know this. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else as you built the divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people. I see Bane. Yet it may not it's matter. It's Jamaican Bane. The divide still stands against us. The divide? What do you mean? Our enemies gather outside. Shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention. In case I could not kill you, the marked men would flood this place, cut off your escape. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Two couriers together at the Divide. I have a Chihuahua which does bark, does not bark a lot and follows me everywhere and he's sleeping next to me. Couldn't ask for a better friend. Pretty cool. Chihuahua that isn't noisy? I thought all small dogs were noisy. I wish the Canadian government will change the anthem of the old one. It's pretty cheesy, I gotta say, the freaking Canadian anthem. I cringe every time I hear it. Are you going to betray the NCR? Nope, this is the NCR ending. We're going good. And now, they come for us. we have the good ending with Ulysses, where we make our final stand with him against the marked men. And West. Ulysses, everybody, let's go. Let's massacre these marked men. Yo, 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 Mellow Gaming, how are you doing? Irvin Redis Land 32 co welcome to the stream. How are you doing, man? Let me know. Wait, is that Handsome Jack? No, it's his Jamaican brother. Handsome Bob. Or should I say Average Bob? Great job. Oh, I love that style. I should have 1 million views. Lonesome Road Hardcore Mod. Mode plus mods. I'm about to design amazing overlaid bubble for your three. Follow the slate profiles banner. Follow New Vegas, just the best. Follow New Vegas is awesome, man. I agree there. Currently, I'm not looking for a new overlay, though. I'll check out your site, though. Just be sure. Uh, just a look. Looksy poo. Look, Sipu, where are you? Where is it here? There we go. Okay. I'll check that out after the stream. Thank you, Irvin. Thank you, thank you. Mellow Gaming. Been a minute. Yeah, man. It's been quite a while. Home and fear. How are you Not doing? Enough. More. Congrats on 700 subs. Thank you, Commander Dark. Man, it took a while. I thought I was going to be at... I thought I was never going to hit 700 subs. 
because it kept on we kept on staying at the 690 between 690 and 700 mark it kept on going up and down and up and down but all it took was a little bit of patience and a lot of effort we're here Now the next goal is 800. I don't think we'll have trouble hitting that. You have forgotten all you were. Traded floor. Using a stealth boy, I'll use one too. That was six, 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 six. The mark of the devil. Hey, why are they? They're transforming into goo piles. What the hell? Marked Van Goo Piles. I don't know how I feel about that. Cancel the missile launch. Look! Go, go, go! The missile's going! Oh no. It's right here? I think it's right here. Yes. Okay. This terminal is already engaged in its countdown sequence and the abort code has been overridden. You might be able to change the missile's target or accelerate the countdown and launch the missiles immediately. Leave the console alone. Attempt to cancel the launch. Redirect the missiles to target both the NCR and Kaiser's Legion. Redirect the missiles to target Kaiser's territory. Accelerate the countdown and launch the missiles at the NCR. I'm going to redirect the missiles to target Kaiser's territory. This will launch Ulysses missiles against targets in the lands east of the Colorado controlled by Kaiser's Legion. Raining nuclear fire down on its cities and its tribes. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Ain't she a beauty? There she goes. Wait, quest failed at the end. Wait, how did I fail it? Wait, hold on. If I launch the missile, then I fail it? I have to stop the missile completely? I didn't know that. Let's go ahead and do that then. I want to get the good ending. We're going to cancel the launch. The abort code is encrypted with incredibly... Advanced pre-war military encryption sequence. You'd have to be a code-breaking robot to crack it in time. Ooh. Don't we have Eddie? Can't Eddie do this? Well, we have to redirect him at C. Kaiser's territory then. We can't really cancel the launch. Alright, let's do it then. <laughs> Got no choice. And better Kaiser's Legion than the NCR. Especially for the ending we're getting. Alright, well, I'm a dip, but good luck on 800. Thank you, Commander Dark. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Ruthless comes in with a murka! Fuck yeah! Suck my tits and lick all my balls of miracle! As the flame trail of the two couriers' last message arced into the sky, missiles fell on the east, and the Legion encampment at Drywells, where the Twisted Hears had allied, then been betrayed by Wolpus and Kaisar. Legion soldiers died, their silhouettes blasted into the ground and earth. The last word of the last of the twisted hairs. It was an ending to things.
a way of erasing the road that had led to this point and the history that had walked with it. Too bad I can't understand robot. I've been playing Warframe, Warframe, eh? Played that a couple of times. Like uh, Space burned, Ninja. Lightless in the night. Invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure as if recognizing the courier's right to passage or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide. The last road he would walk should have tried before the dabbing on the rock, you probably would have shot it. Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, well, was it's not a too late. package from one courier <laughs> to another. A footlocker bearing a gift and now, a I'm message. pretty sure dabbing would have made me but shoot that myself. Message, it is something for couriers to carry, and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders the that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Lonesome road. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we just completed the Lonesome Road DLC and sent a nuke at Kaiser's camp. You can see it in the distance. Next time will you betray the NCR? The next time I plan on playing this, I'm going to do the Mr. House ending, so I'm probably going to take out the NCR and Kaiser's Legion. The fires of Armageddon. Your merciless nuclear assault on Kaiser's Legion has devastated the lands east of the Colorado and even the borders of the Mojave. At Cottonwood Cove, you can now take a journey by river to the site of the Dry Wells, a devastated Legion encampment. Be prepared. The area is highly irradiated and infested with Legion ghouls. You have also unlocked the Scourge of the East perk, allowing you to put a single point into any of your special attributes. You also gain reputation in the NCR for breaking the back of Kaiser's Legion, but you lose reputation in the Kaiser's Legion. Okay. That's acceptable. I'm going to put it in agility for that extra action points. I leveled up. Hey, I thought the cap was 30 straight. But then again, I'm thinking it's 35. Put the rest into barter. All right, we're going to visit the blown up Kaiser's Legion camp. It's talking about the one over by Hoover Dam, right? The fort and the fort. We're going to check it out, peeps. See what happened. I have not discovered the location yet. Hmm. You can travel to the crashed B4.
wonder what the easiest way to get to the fort is. I think 40 with the deals. Oh, so it's 40. Nice. I didn't know that. Can I just run across Hoover Dam right to it? Like, is that a thing? Can I do that? Or do I have to go all the way around here? Let's go to Hoover Dam and we'll give it a try. Probably going to get shot at. Is it me, or has the Brotherhood stopped engaging us? Smartest move they ever made. 50, maybe. I don't think it's 50. I don't think it's that high. I think it's in the 35 40 range. Alright, Kaiser, I'm coming. Uh, I need to get on the road first. Hold on, Kaiser, I'm having some technical difficulties. More like mental difficulties. probably gonna die I'm 100 percent expecting to die here well that's okay it's for science hey inaccessible okay so I can't visit it from that side there's got to be a road that I could go up Ugh, on the right side. Let's go to Ranger Station Delta. No, with all four DLC installments, it reaches up to 50. Yeah? Damn, dude. That's pretty cool. We got 20 more, actually 19 more levels to go then. The hell is that? It's a Robo Brain. Robo Brain. Robo Brain. Okay, so now how do we get up there? That's the hard part. Is there a way to get to it from the crashed B29? Watch, I'm gonna get jumped by Cazadors. Fucking hate Cazadors. So many Cazadors, dude. So many. It's gotta be a way to get up there. Robo brain. Hey, I'm surprised I'm not getting radiation from this. I'm just taking a dip. Taking a nice dip, just going for a swim. Swimming to Kaiser's Legion. What is the best Fallout New Vegas DLC and why? Is it Dead Money? No. I like... Oh my god. I keep on forgetting the name of it. Uh, Old World Blues. I like Old World Blues. I like the story in it. I like the, the comedy too. And I like the villain. The villain's really funny in it. I also like all the creatures and the lore behind them. This is really creepy. And it's not too much of a pain to deal with. Like, it's a fun DLC. You're not going to be stepping on mines all day. You're more likely to fight robotic scorpions. And robotic lobotomites.
I like dead money more. I didn't, eh, dead money wasn't really my cup of tea. Dead money was too much of a maze for me. I think I'm going the wrong way. How to get to the fort. To reach the fort, the courier must use... Where was it? Ah, it just came up. The courier must use the barge at Cottonwood Cove. Hmm. Don't think I could take it. How to get to, what was it, dry springs? Dry wells. That's what we're going for. The boat to dry wells, location of the Mayha is on the western shore of Cottonwood Cove. Yes! Okay, that's what we're going for. Cottonwood Cove, baby. I think that's down here. Boat to dry wells, it's right over here. Vilified in Cottonwood Cove. They hate me down there. Mind your step. Mind your step. Yes, mom. Honest Hearts is my favorite. Honest Hearts is pretty good. Did I do Honest Hearts yet? I don't think I did Honest Hearts yet. So far, I've done Lonesome Road and Dead Money. I honestly can't remember on Honest Hearts. My second favorite DLC is DLC from Fallout 3 where you get abducted by aliens. I think it's called Mothership Zeta. It's a pretty funny DLC. You get to kill the alien men on their mothership. I like any interaction with the aliens. I think they're an interesting creature in the Fallout universe. So much mystery behind them, too. How they got here. Why didn't they... The fuck was that? Long trooper rambler. Hmm. I'm going to follow the road. New Vegas just decided to fuck off. It does that occasionally. Oh, it's got an attitude. I like the one with the pre-war army. One with the pre-war army, eh? Don't think I've ever heard of that one before. Are you talking about the one with um, where you fight the Chinese? That one was pretty cool. That one didn't really feel Fallout though. That felt like uh, felt weird, for sure, because it wasn't your traditional Fallout experience. It was more of a flashback to the war between the commies and the US. It was still cool nonetheless. Just not apocalypsey. On his heart is such a weak and uninteresting DLC. I 
I can't remember the Honest Hearts DLC for the life of me. And it's the one DLC that I can't seem to remember, so I'll agree with you there. I mean, if it's not memorable. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm getting gangbanged. Help! Oh my god, it's a glow scorpion. Operant. Operation Anchorage felt like a lot like Call of Duty. Yeah, that's what I was I couldn't put my finger on it But that's what I was trying to talk about It felt like a like Call of Duty Like modern warfare What the fuck is that? Oh my god kill it kill it with fire So like all the DLC for Fallout 4 and could tell you're trying to do a cash track because there are like six DLC packs. Yeah, and the only good one is I'm just gonna take that out. The only good one. Oh my god, what the fuck? Are you serious? The only good one was Far Harbor. Is it called Far Harbor? Yeah, Far Harbor. Best 30 bucks I spent on a DLC in my life. Mara Pride Leader. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Bad Camara Pride Leader. Give me your sausage. I like this sausage. Why can't I hear the gunshots anymore? What the fuck is going on here? Whoever said that Honest Hearts was bad is a snowflake. Oh boy, we're gonna have a war in the chat. Gonna have a war in the chat over the DLCs. The great DLC war. Call of Duty made an ASMR game, it would be Modern Warfare. If Call of Duty made an ASMR game, a lot of war vets would get PTSD. <laughs> Imagine that war vets listening to Call of Duty ASMR. Holy fuck! The hell was that? Why is my arm in my face? <laughs> There we go. 10 millimeter pistol. Let's do this. They're still sending assassins after me after they got nuked. The fuck is this? They must hate me a lot if they're still sending assassins after me after they've been nuked to oblivion. Mine is Lego Star Wars. Yes! Lego Star Wars is the best. Best game, period. Die too. I need stim packs. Yes, 
Lord Death of Murder Mountain. I like that title. Very fitting. No, Todd Howard, stop cursing my game. <laughs> Todd Howard's cursing my game. It's coming back at me for that 76 video. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in defense? It wasn't me. That guy's getting wrecked by a gecko. I'm gonna let that gecko have his way with him. What's your thoughts on Skyrim, Rector? Well... I like Skyrim. Skyrim's nice. Got a lot of content, and it's really fun to play. I started a game up on Skyrim a couple weeks back. I started a uh, Khajiit Sneak. She sneaks around with a bow and arrow, and so she uses illusion magic to hide herself. Gets like sneaky deaky backstabs and stuff. I don't play it regularly though. I play it now and then, you know. Play it for a couple of hours. Otherwise, I get bored. I could play Fallout for longer periods than I can Skyrim because it holds my interest a lot more. And I think that's because it's a post apocalyptic game. I like games where it's near the end time. I like the post apocalyptic setting a lot more than medieval fantasy. Doesn't mean that Skyrim's a bad game. Skyrim's awesome. It's just my, uh, I guess my preference on the genres. I like survival and po post apocalyptic. He's doing barely any damage to me. It's a pretty weak Reaver. Do a Let's Play stream. I'll watch every bit. I don't know if... It'd be able to hold my interest for that long. I mean, I could do Fallout. Like, no tomorrow. I could do... Reoccurring plays of that, even though I've beaten the game over four times. I don't know if I could say the same for Skyrim. I've never beaten Skyrim before. I've played it countless times and given up on playthroughs. Never finished one though. I always forget, end up forgetting that it's in my library and just leaving it there. We'll see, that might change with my latest playthrough of it. I always like to test a game first to see if it holds my interest before streaming it. I'll do that with Skyrim, and if everything goes well, you might have yourself a playthrough. You have every right to your personal liking. Yeah, I agree there. It's all up to personal opinion. A game could still be a good game, but if it's not what you prefer, then you're not going to be playing it for long. Hey, Anders. Who did this to you? Legion caught me. Said this was the penalty for drug runners. Please, let me down. You're smuggling drugs? Please. For the love of God, let me down. Goodbye. No. 
<laughs> Goodbye. Um, no. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Thousand bounty added to Bethesda. Everyone disliked that. Zombie survival, you can get some buddies and play with. Are you talking about Dead State 2? Juggernaut Edition? Like Skyrim, I gave you some base mods to enjoy. Just saying, Discord. I played that one mod for it, the Endural mod. That was pretty cool. I'd play a mod like that in the future. Oh, what the fuck? Is that guy an actual bull? That guy's an actual bull. Unturned. I played that before. I played it with a couple of buddies. It was pretty fun. It's like Minecraft, but zombie survival mode. Best part, it's, it's free. Ooh. Richter, you should do a Let's Play of the Outer Worlds. I've been thinking of doing that. That's Oblivion's latest RPG, right? I got the... What's it called? The Microsoft Pack? It's something like that. The Microsoft Xbox Game Pass. That's what it's called. Outer Worlds comes free with it. I tried it. Played, I think, about 10 hours. I really liked it. It gave me Bioshock and Fallout vibes. So that's definitely what I'm looking at doing a playthrough on stream of. I go Star Wars stream. If I gotta play that game, I'm gonna blow my goddamn brains out. <laughs> no, the bull is coming after me. Is the bull, dude? The bull. I just blew myself up. Oh my god, dude. This bull hurts. Play that game on my old PC and loved it. Lego Star Wars was fun when I was a kid. I don't think I'd like it nowadays. That's like the Spongebob game for PS2. I forget what it was called. Saving Bikini Bottom or something like that. That was a good game when I was a kid. I don't think I'd like it as an adult. It's the bull! Nobody's coming. Oh, the bull doesn't even give a shit about that. Run! Run! Yes! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Die, bull! Stupid bull! Big horner meat. It's a big horner, dude! It's a legion big horner. He's record do over to Pog Champ. 
Please wreck door. Do it for the memes. But the memes aren't good enough. They're not good enough to warrant playing. I'd love to see unturned gameplay. I might do that. It's a free game and uh, it's got low specs, so or low requirements, so anybody could download and hop into it. Another good part of it is it doesn't take that much space up, so literally takes minutes to download. It might be a good party game, like for doing one of those celebration streams that I do. Might add that as an option. Because we're doing a vote in the Discord right now to see what exactly kind of stream we're going to do. A special stream for... Oh my god, it just crashed in. But... But uh, there's a vote in the Discord right now that... Uh, we're deciding on which game to stream. What kind of stream in general for the 700 sub special. I'll add unturned as an option in it. So you could vote for that. How does that sound? Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, let's play through. I did that when it came out. Oh, no, not Fallen Order. It was the latest one, the Redhead. I just bought Battle for Bikini Bottom. It has shaders now. <laughs> it's got shaders, dude. Irradiated Legionary Veteran. Feral Marked Man. Oh, my God, dude. Look at this place. I completely wrecked the Legion. I love it. I'm surprised they're still alive. I thought they'd all be ghouls by now. Sounds great, but I ain't in the Discord. Discord links down below on the Twitch side. And I think I have a link in the description of the YouTube stream. If I don't, then if you go to the main channel, there should be a link there in the banner. Put on my spacesuit. I'm going to space. Whoa. Whoa. Nice try. But I'm the spaceman. The spaceman never dies. Find the Fallout New Vegas Christmas special mod. Download it. Adds a very long, hilarious quest of you helping Santa make the ultimate Christmas festival. Oh my god! Spacesuit doesn't have a lot of armor on it, does it? <laughs> I'm a man in a foreign land. I can't believe they're still here. Like, if I were them, I would have run for the hills already. I would have took that boat all the way back. If 
But no, they're going hard. What kind of gun is that? I think I made them stronger by nuking them. I don't know how that works, but it's happening. Ganado! Oh god, what the fuck, yo? We're in the NSFW tab in Discord. <laughs> yeah, uh, do yourself a favor and mute that channel. <laughs> That's what I did. SFW mellow enough for you? <laughs> hey, mellow. I kind of forgot that was a thing to be on. <laughs> I'm having some major deja vu. I feel like I've been here before, like in this dry springs or dry well. While it's irradiated like this. If you're going to draw Rector Rule 34, you have to enter to delete it. No. Ow. <laughs> I got stuck in a rock. Oh boy, oh. I nuked him to hell though, look at this. I nuked him good. Okay peeps, we're gonna need our companions for this. <laughs> this is too hard to do solo. Everybody's like beefed up and irradiated and he's got super tough skin now, so Good job. I'm heading back. The good news is we can fast travel here now, so it won't take long to get back. I'm gonna go back to Novak. Okay. I'm gonna get Boone and Eddie so we're ready to go for next stream. Over six hours long. Is it time? Holy <laughs> shit. I'm ready when you are. That's a long Christmas special. Sounds like a good idea, though, for a Christmas stream. All right, I'll see you later, sir. How's cat? Thank you for tuning in. And I'll await the Rector Rule 34. My God. Rector Rule 34.
Hey, Eddie. Come on, let's go. back to Novak where I'm gonna save the game and then end the stream for the night we did a lot of things we got lonesome road up and done we got the good ending too we didn't have to kill Ulysses which is nice and we nuked the shit out of Kaiser's Legion went there <laughs> and found out that it made him even stronger. <laughs> so now, next screen, we're going to go back and we're going to clear that place out with our trusty companion, Boone and Eddie. But for now, we're ending the stream. So I want to thank everybody that came to the stream, hung out with me, watched me get blown up by mines. It was a blast. I hope I see you in the next one, which is tomorrow at 5 p.m. We're going to be playing some Metro Exodus, so make sure to tune in then. My name's Rector. I'm from Rector Nation, and I'll see you in the next stream or video, whichever comes first. Anyway, peeps, I hope you have a fantastic night, and remember to stay frosty. Peace, peeps.